But to really understand the president's appeal, at least to his staunchest supporters, you have to remember the promise of his victory speech. The forgotten men and women of our country will be forgotten no longer. If maybe you didn't know who the president was talking about, well, his supporters sure did. Oh, well, he's talking about all of us. All Everybody people. that's not an elite. If you look around, it's all regular people. We were never represented with the Republicans or the Democrats. Well, I think he was talking about a lot of the needs of, you know, the average person, what they would call the flyover country. For them, it's about jobs. 2008 to 2012, I was living paycheck to paycheck. Right you know, now, I got money in the bank. But also respect. We're completely irrelevant to the Democratic Party unless, except for voting time. Otherwise, they could care less about any of us. And above all, recognition. I would rather let him tell me what he thinks, but do the job than getting a good words from po politicians and when they're in power, they will turn around and backstab everybody. If you felt forgotten in 2016, how do you feel now? Oh, I feel great, and I hope that he gets another four years. He felt forgotten in 20, uh, 2008. Yeah. 2008? 2012. 2012, you felt forgotten? Yeah. How do you feel now? Great. Great. Love it. And as we've learned traveling through these battleground states, Trump's message can still land with a more varied crowd than you might expect. Thank you very much, Pennsylvania. Go out and vote. Did you vote for him in 2016? Yes. Are you going to do it again? Yes. And your number one reason is? The economy. What's in the back of this truck? Yes. My dog. And my freedom and my rights. So you're going to be a first-time voter this time yes. voting for Trump. And what exactly pushed you over the line? Hey, I got one life. I want to be something, and he's going to make a difference, man. How do you think he's going to do on election day? I think he's going to get it. I, 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 I think he's going to win, man. The gun. That man there at the end, Darren Byrd, is one of three black Trump supporters that we met along our journey. And one of them told us that he believes that there are a lot more out there. He calls them shy Trump supporters among the African-American community. 